Yo, what's up everyone? JBH here, and I am back. Back from holidays, back on 2K18, where today we're going up against the Portland Trailblazers. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys, so it's good to get back on the commentary and back in uh, my little sim zone, I guess you could say, out the back of my house. So, without any further ado, we'll jump straight in. Had a good couple of run of things recently. Massive win against uh, Golden State two days ago, so... See if we can start to hopefully get a streak together. As you can see, it's been so inconsistent recently, but definitely need to somehow get back up towards the uh, playoff zone of the top eight. All right, let's jump straight in. Hay quien magnifica emblemas como punto de partida y así refugiarse en símbolos para negar la vida. Construyen una cárcel como forma de salir. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Say hello to the folks. Hey, hello to the folks. Hey, Shaquille O'Neal is here. Say hey to the folks. Hey, what up, folks? Uh, the NBA is really rolling along at this point. In a few moments, we'll be sending you out to Portland as the Trailblazers go up against the Orlando Magic. Well, for Orlando, they're keeping pace with their win total from last season, holding steady, though they'd like to move the needle and continue to improve. And here we are, start of a new season. So much drama coming out of the gate. Drama for your mama. Shaq, for the teams that are underperforming thus far, what can they do to try and right the ship? Look, Ernie, it's early, so don't overreact. You can mix up the rotations a little bit. Don't be scared, coach. Do what you got to do. Well, first, you got to keep believing in yourself. But I love these player-only Oh, I'll bet you. Oh, I did, it. man. Really? You because did? You, you get, liked them? Oh, because I used to – that's the only time I could really like, I look in your face in front of the other 11 guys and tell you how I really feel so, about like, them. Like, Akeem, you're killing us. No, that never was said. <laughs> it was more like – see, we should only give it to Akeem because he's the only one not killing us. Oh.
the Trailblazers in beautiful Portland, Oregon. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony from the sideline. Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Last outing for Orlando. Right, they won that game go. against the Warriors in Oakland. I tell you what, uh, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. A good poise led to good shot yeah, selection, and that, that was the key to maximizing going. their opportunities. And it's going to be the magic off the tip. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the magic, Peyton and Fournier are the one and the two. The big man are Gordon and Vucevic. Oh. And it's Isaac into the three spot. Three, the and two very gifted offensive teams, Chris, playing tonight. Fun to watch them go back and forth. Hey, games like this, though, you got to be careful because you can get lulled into a shootout at any time. And that takes your focus off of doing the little things, paying attention to detail. That's your success. Don't get caught up. Boy, this could be a big run really fast. Yurkic can't yeah, hit. Boy. On defense, Portland. It's a three-point game, and this game, yes. the first chance they've had to see Orlando. In their meetings last year, they split the season series. It happens a fair amount between teams from the East and West. Yeah, despite one being a playoff club and the other missing out, they played each other tough last season. We'll see how they match up this time around. Oh, and the jam ah, by Harkless. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Vucevic setting the pick for Peyton. The drive by Vucevic. Peyton oh. passes to Vucevic. Great rebound for Peyton. And here's Fournier. He averages a bit over six points a game. Back to Vucevic. Oh, Nurkic with the oh. steal. A three from McCollum. Rebounded by Vucevic. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Peyton kicks to Gordon. Fournier dishes to Gordon. Good ball movement here by the Magic. There's a good screen. Gordon a screen. Five to shoot. Vucevic the pass to Peyton. A three-pointer no good. For Portland, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And it's Lillard missing. Look, he had all the time in the world to get the jumper off. Maybe it was too much time. Peyton dishes to Vucevic. Shoots over Nurkic. Uh, Another miss by Vucevic. D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Now here's Harkless. Guarded closely. Kicks it to Nurkic. This one on the play. Oh, Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Oh, that wasn't even me. That was me. can't pass up a shot from such short range. And Nurkic, the first player, Chris, in over 30 years to record a game with 28 points, 20 rebounds, 8 assists, and 6 blocks. Yeah, he lit up the Sixers that night in a win for the Blazers. His hot start ignited Nurkic fever in Portland and, and helped propel them back into that playoff hunt. One shot. That one drops. He ties it up. Orlando, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Baden outside. Pass to Isaac over Harkless. The Magic again can't hit. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Oh, Sometimes blocks. you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Here's Isaac, defended by Harkless. Now the dish to Vucevic. Shot clock at six. Yes. Two points. That one goes. I yeah, love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean oh, look. Lillard misses. Some very slack defending. Playing with fire to leave him that open beyond the arc. Passes it to Gordon. Feeds to Fournier. He dishes it to Pete. Oh, wow. Pass to Isaac. Yeah, boy. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. 
Isaacs got himself going with the triple his first basket of the game. Lillard with it looking for his first basket still in this one. Conley setting the pick for McCollum. From 15 feet away they get it back. Nurkic it's blocked. Oh, blocked. You got to be careful yeah, around Isaac. His length is a problem for the opposition. He stifles what? shooters oh, with shit. that reach. Here's Lillard. Finish that off was the break. He was Lillard's flying at him. His first bucket of the night. Oh, Just that is great bullshit. anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Yeah, and last season, for the first time since his rookie season, Moore Harkless pretty much a full-time starter. His perimeter defense, though, is critical for that starting lineup. here for Portland. Ed Davis is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Collins comes in for Noah Vonley. Al Farouk Aminu. He's checked in for Harkless. And it's Turner in for right. Damian Lillard. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Spates checked in for Vucevic. Terrence Ross. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Look out. That's a beautiful Look. jam. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Here's Turner. Davis controls oh, the rebound and puts it back up and in. On. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's ridiculous. really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And Augustine kicks to Simmons. Yes. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Simmons got his first two points. Timely passing leads oh, to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Cullen passes a turn. The 11-footer, that one falls. Now, Turner has a reliable mid-range shot. This is where he likes to operate. He looks comfortable shooting. For Augustine dishes to Gortz. Oh, oh, come on. Did you see that? Did you see that? And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. McCollum kicks to Turner. Count it. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. On the wing, Gordon. Back to Augustine. From outside, off the mark. Trailblazers trail by three. Here's Aminu. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And Augustine kicks to Gordon. Back to Simmons. And it's blocked. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. It's the Magic up one from Portland. We're back in a moment. And now a chance to hear from point guard Damian Lillard as he explains his stoic demeanor on the floor. I was taught to, you know, never let anybody see how you feel. I kind of just embraced it, you know, for my entire life. Just, you know, you wouldn't know if something was going on in my life or not because uh, as long as I'm taking care of business and doing what I need to be doing, you know, that's all that matters. 
I would think we probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his about his personal life. Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of business. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Magic here so far in this one? Playing smart in this first period. Credit their unselfish play. Uh, always a good strategy. You get as many people involved as you can early on. On the court for Orlando. Ross is the three with Gordon at the four. D.J. Augustine out there with Simmons. And it's Spates in at the pivot spot manning the middle. And Chris, you've been working as an analyst now for quite some time. Do you feel that... Uh, how you view and enjoy the game has changed as you transition from being a player on the floor to the booth. You know what? I've learned a lot, uh, and I've learned to look at the game a different way, but I look at the game the same way. I think the onus is on the player to execute uh, what the coach and the GM puts out there for you to do, for you not to become a one-dimensional player, for you to improve in the summertime. That's the only time you can improve. And when you don't come back and you don't improve, it's, it's obvious that you have the same glaring weaknesses that you you had the year before even if you're not on a team that can compete for a championship you want to make sure that you compete for a championship that you compete for an all-star that you compete to have your name out there and so a lot of times we'll watch some of those teams and I love seeing that they compete or if they laid it down early in the season so no I would say that really what gives me an advantage is that the way that I looked at the game and hopefully you know that gives me a unique perspective when I'm out there trying to talk to other basketball heads like myself and both free throws good for us. Now here's Turner. Davis sets a screen. A three from McCollum. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. McCollum's got five points now this quarter. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Ross kicks to Simmons. Over McCollum. Here's Spates. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Spates has got it all tied up now for Orlando. The Trailblazers shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. And Aminu kicks to Turner. McCollum outside. No good on the three. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding. No, I mean, there had to be a better option that time down the court. That's just a missed opportunity. And Augustine kicks to Spates. And the slam dunk by Spates. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Well, yeah, and you have to give him credit. He makes the right read go straight to the rim. The shot by Turner, no good. Uh, defensively, they could have done better. That's an open look he'd like to have back. Well, the Blazers' offense is based on flow and movement. A lot of screens off the ball creating openings for their shooters. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Fellas, Al Farouk Aminu has established himself as a great defensive player, and he wants that recognition. He said, my goal every year is to be defensive player of the year. I want to guard one through four and even five sometimes. I want it to be known that I'm a great defender. And I want the league to recognize that. Kevin? Thanks, David. I mean, he continues to prove his worth on the defensive end. His length and quickness certainly hard to deal with. And the Blazers, one of the better offensive teams in the league. Very unpredictable. Well, they keep the defense moving and reacting. They keep the weak side occupied, not stagnant, but with a lot of isolation and post-ups. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this.
An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Norkic checked in for Davis. Noah Vonley comes in for Collins. Maurice Harkless is checked in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Lillard subbed in for McCollum. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic checked in for Gordon. Isaac comes in for Ross. Evan Fournier is checked in for Jonathan Simmons. And it's Peyton in for Augustine. Spates kicks to Fournier. Orlando moving the ball around. And it's good. Two points. Spates has got six. Uh, he just looks more engaged this second quarter. A far cry from his disappointing play in the first period. Harkless the pass to Lillard. Nurkic a screen on Peyton. Harkless with the screen for Vondel. And it's sent back by Spates. Now the pass to Vucevic. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two Shots chances at the free throw line here. And still, Chris, a lot of games left. Talk about the marathon of an 82-game season. Boy, it seems like a lot. Man, you have to control your emotions. You have to control your energy. It is grueling. There's so many ups and downs in the seasons. There's so many momentum changes for you and for others that you have to keep a constant focus. And so 82 games, you know, college, that's about 30 games. And so if you're a rookie, you're playing about three of those seasons. And even if you're a veteran, you're going to get tired right before All-Star break. So how do you manage your body? How do you recuperate? How do you keep focus on those tough, cold nights during the winter? That all takes part in the being of becoming a great player. Yeah, real balancing act for sure. It is a balancing act. It's how do you figure out balancing your mind, balancing your focus, and then balancing your body, staying off your legs. And he's good on the second. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Willard. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Alfred Payton. You better respect the interior game a little bit. When he gets deep inside, he forces the defense to hit him. Damon Lillard, the originator of Four Bar Friday. Last season, he released the letter O, his album. Featured some pretty big names. Two shots. He throw good, Damian Lillard. And Lillard with his own music label, he enjoys spending time in the recording studio. Yeah, music, hip hop, and, and basketball and sports go hand in hand. I mean, his high school coach was also a music producer. So Damien and his teammates had a chance to get in the studio at a young age. Before games, during warm ups, they play their songs. I mean, that's what athletes do, that's where it all started. And both free throws good for Damien Lillard. And once he gets into a groove like that, you can just count. Fournier against Turner. Now here's Fournier. Tight defense on him. Another miss by Orlando. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Yeah, coming off of a good pick. You want to get that when he gets the separation he needs. I know he would love to have that one back. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Spade sets a screen for Peyton. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and see which teams have been the NBA's best in the rebounding department. The Magic in third. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. And Lillard kicks to Harkless. Nurkic setting the pick for Harkless. Got a piece of it. Now Spates. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Warriors in Oakland. Peyton dishes to Fournier. Nurkic with the steal. Now here's Harkless. Guarded close. It's deflected. Peyton kicks to Fournier. Rebound by Nurkic. 
Not the tightest of D on him, though. But not the best of finishes either. Turner passes to Lillard. Back to Turner. Screen by Nurkic. There's the pick. Three pointer Lillard. Score of the basket is third after five shots. But Lillard is always going to be aggressive on offense as he looks to catch the defense off guard. Here's Peyton. 11 point game his last outing. And Vucevic kicks to Spates. Will it go? Not happening that time. His second miss in five shots. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Over in the corner, Harkless. Teardrop shot. That falls. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got his third assist on the night. And it's the Magic with the ball. They trail by six. Peyton outside. Pass to Isaac. Takes the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Isaac's got six points. And you just can't let Isaac get that much room to shoot it from deep. He's a very consistent three-point shooter with a fluid shooting form. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Trailblazers lead by three. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Alfred, how big is defense going to be in the second half to help you get this win? Uh, it's going to be big. That's what it's going to come down to. Uh, defense wins games. It certainly does, Alfred. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We so hope you enjoyed our first half. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the Halftime Report. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. They never dug too deep a hole for themselves in the first period. The most they trailed by was five. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. What did you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise making good decisions, and not giving away any possession. They did a great job of that in the first half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Magic. I think it was their passing that's kept them in the game. You can see it in their assist numbers. They were very, very unselfish. The ball moving from side to side, guys making good cuts. It's enabled them to create a lot of chances. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that wraps up halftime as the game is set to get back underway. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and crew standing by courtside. Welcome back. Downtown Portland looking spectacular tonight from the air. Such a scenic location here in Oregon. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. third quarter starting here now. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. Portland leading by three. McCollum at the two with Harkless playing the three. Von Lane's out there with Nurkic, and it's Lillard in at the point guard. So that's who Terry Stotts starts the second half with. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. And it's good for two. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. It's a nice momentum builder coming out of halftime for sure. Screen by Nurkic. McCollum dishes to Nurkic. He feeds it to Lillard. He kicks to Vonley. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Gordon. The shot by Vonley no good. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Isaac to the inside. Gordon the pass to Vucevic. Vucevic is screen on Lillard. Heaton. Gordon kicks to Vucevic. 
Again, the Magic score. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. McCollum against Fournier. Offensive rebound. Nurkic off target at the rim. Everyone in the building thought that that one was going to go in, including me. That's just shocking he blew it. Pass to Isaac. Peyton dishes to Gordon. Back to Peyton. Magic moving the ball around. Picked by Vucevic. Pass to Fournier. The feet to Vucevic. Gordon with a screen on Nurkic. Vucevic the pass to Fournier. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. A different look now for Portland. Ed Davis is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Collins comes in for Noah Vonley. And it's Aminu in for Maurice Harkless. Orlando also making some changes. Terrence Ross is checked in for Isaac. Jonathan Simmons comes in for Fournier. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Peyton. And this motion offense of Terry Stotts, a great fit for the roster of the Blazers. Well, he's a coach who builds his system around his talent, not the other way around. Great firepower, especially in the backcourt. He's done a great job of exploiting. And, and look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And Augustine kicks to Gordon. Over Collins. Outside for Simmons. Picked by Vucevic. to Simmons. Dishes it to Vucevic. Second chance shot. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Davis. And now Portland on the break. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. And Jonathan Simmons gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. on D. Here's the screen. And it's McCollum off the drive. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, the Portland Trailblazers are developing a great chemistry for a young team. Damian Lillard takes the team to San Diego every September for bonding purposes. And he told me how much we like each other, how much time we spend around each other, that shows you a team that is really together. It is a unit. We have each other's back. Kevin? And it's critical to establish camaraderie early on. Thank you, DA. Sounds like Lillard has this team headed in the right direction. He misses the free throw. And Chris, the Sacramento teams you were on were so good at passing at every position. Just what is needed to build a kind of offense that does pass the ball like that, that's as fluid as that. Well, two things. You have to have the offensive system, and then I think you have to have players with the skill set. You know, you can't really be a good passer if you're not a good scorer because everybody's just going to stay back off of you and deny their man. But when you're a pretty good scorer, everyone has to watch you just as much as they watch their man because you're just as much of a threat with the ball as you are passing. So I, I would say there we had guys that really could move the ball, that really could shoot the ball so they were a threat. And all they had to do was be kind of a decoy. Pump fake, attack the basket, draw another guy, and then pass it to a guy that's willing to shoot. Unselfishness is a big trait, too, that you have to have. Guys that like seeing their teammates score guys that enjoy seeing their other players get involved into the game that's really important wow what a great breakdown Davis kicks to McCullough tried to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good and Simmons gets it to go on the assist by Augustine Augustine's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight trail Blazers trail by four McCollum right side. Davis sets a screen. Davis setting the pick for McCollum. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer Lillard. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. His stroke has not been what they needed it to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to him. It's stolen by Davis. 
Pulls up. Portland again missing. Man, low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Simmons dishes to Ross. Vucevic is screen on Aminu. Here's Ross. And he banks in the layup. Now it's a six-point Orlando lead. Oh, just a solid screen to free him up. Makes the layup possible. Poked away. Augustine, that's good. Augustine's got five points now this quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Lillard, the pass to Aminu. Kicks it to McCollum. The Trailblazers rebound to the paint. Here's Davis. And again, unable to change momentum here. And Simmons kicks to Augustine. Back to Simmons. There's the dish to Ross. Vucevic setting the pick for Ross. Six on the shot clock. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Trailblazers trail by eight. Pass to McCollum. Davis sets a screen. Lillard from outside. Misses. And so it's the Orlando Magic holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. Terry Stotts had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Defensively, we got to give a little more pressure to their shots, all right? Make them make the second, third, fourth play. That's Terry Stotts drawing the line defensively. Doesn't want the first guy with the ball to beat him. And that's where a total effort is needed. Get back quickly, match up, call out screens, really the complete package. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. Peyton and Fournier are the one and the two. Isaac out there with Simmons. And it's Spates in at the five. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. But it's surprising, Kev, to see so little urgency on the defensive side, especially with them losing this game right now. Turner with the screen. Drills it from outside. John McCullough is incredibly dangerous from outside. Awesome at finding available spaces. He shoots him with ease. Peyton against Turner. Peyton kicks to Fournier. Spates sets a screen. Off the screen. That one, no good. Great D that time from Nurkic. Peyton against Turner. Peyton on the double team. Turner dishes to Nurkic. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. Looking at Portland, they took a win in their last game against Denver. 
Fournier against McCollum. Here's Isaac. He dishes it to Payton. A three-pointer off the mark. Trail Blazers trail by five. Here's Turner. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Here's Spates. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Well, he's played a smart and strong game. His field goal percentage proves it. The Trail Blazers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's McCollum. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. One of the most skilled offensive players in the game. C.J. McCollum has all the moves he wants. And C.J. McCollum with a point guard's handle. He can attack with either hand. He transitions cleanly into his pull-up jumper. With that quick high release, almost no time to recover. And he makes the first. Yeah, and C.J. McCollum mostly plays at that off-guard spot with the Blazers. But on a lot of teams, you, you could see him as the lead guard. I mean, 6'3 in height, and his handles are elite. The Magic making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. And so McCollum nails both of them. And C.J. McCollum can step into that point guard role very comfortably. Yeah, I mean, he keeps it on a string going right or left. A terrific ball handler. Calling him a secondary ball handler is almost not doing him justice. Fournier's shot is off. Trailblazers trail by five. And here is Harkless. Screen by Nurkic. Harkless the pass to Turner. Back to Harkless. Just five to shoot. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. McCollum no good. Orlando leading by five. Gordon with it. Guarded now by Harkless. Portland's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. On the wing, Turner. Feeds it to Harkless. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. Turner's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And the pass to Spates. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And that one misses. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that one. Absolutely. And Portland making a change here. Lillard's checked in. And I'm sure he's lamenting over the one that got away. But that does make it a two-possession game. He feeds it to Vonley. He kicks it to Nurkic. Pass to Lillard. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. But Lillard, he's an exceptional player. He's a guy you trust to make the right decision in these moments. Vucevic checked in for Maurice Spates.
great players understand the situation. Close game, he rises to the challenge. Vucevic a screen on Lillard. Vucevic up top. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Great game for him. Double double down. 11 points and 12 rebounds. That's a two from Lillard. Nails the wide open jump shot. Lillard's got five points now in the quarter. Living for the big moment. His composure in the clutch is phenomenal. Payton kicks to Gordon. Pass to Fournier. Orlando moving the ball around. Gordon a screen. Vucevic a shot off that time. Great D that time from Nurkic. McCollum dishes to Lillard to take the lead. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got three assists now in this one. Orlando, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Peyton passes to Vucevic. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. And the Magic lead by one. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. McCollum kicks to Luke. Off the pick. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And Leonard is known for being a clutch shooter. He's the guy they go to. He's the guy they believe in. Now the feed to Gordon. Dishes to Fournier. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Vonley. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Portland with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Screen by Nurkic. McCollum dishes to Lillard. That three off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Peyton outside. Back to Fournier. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. To the middle. Yes! And this atmosphere is bananas. Well, guys separate themselves by how they perform in clutch situations. Give this man his props. Timeout called by Port. They're down by one. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. present our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. He's gotten his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. Let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Terry Stotts talk to his team during that timeout. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment, and let's take back this game. Let's see what they can do, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. And he commits the intentional foul. Shooting two. Three 
first free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Pushes it from a two to a three-point lead. You can count on him. It makes a huge difference right now. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by three. 11 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? You know, you'd love to be able to clear space and get that triple, but you can also do the two with a quick foul. Well, these are some of the toughest decisions. I mean, a good argument can be made for either case. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Onlay kicks to Harkless. There's the dish to Nurkic. Three-pointer Lillard. Misses the three. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, with Evan Fournier. Hey, Evan, does a win like tonight's against this kind of competition show you how far you've come as a team? Yeah, sure. You know, we obviously showing progress. But uh, we want to be a, a very good team. We are very ambitious. Nothing wrong with a little ambition, Evan. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.